Today I want to look at Che Fiero Costume. It's in the 24 Italian Songs and Arias book. And it's also a class one solo on the Texas UIL PML list. Normally it's very important to separate your words from your music as you're learning a song. But in this case, it's super important. This song has some rapid fire words that if you're not comfortable with the Italian, it's gonna be quite difficult. So let's look at the first thing. It's just in measures one and two. And this gets repeated periodically, this type of phrasing. If you look at this, um, Che fiero costume da leggero nome che a forza de pene si faccia adorar. Most people cannot make this breath, this phrase. It seems long, but the reason it's long is because you're not quite used to the phrasing and how to put the words where the words need to be. So that's why you need to practice the words in your head voice. Che fiero costume da leggero nome che a forza de pene si faccia rar. Now, if you're really paying attention, you'd notice I added a little lift there. Now lift isn't quite a breath, but it's enough to relax your throat muscles right in here to kind of open it up and give some space. And as you open up your mouth, air automatically goes in. So bonus, it's super cool. All right, so where you would want to put this? You have que fiero costume da ligero. I would put the lift there, um, right after uh, da ligero because you have a leap from the A down to the D. And that just gives your body a sense of rest and you can carry on. Uh, so that would end up sounding like this. Que fiero costume da ligero nome que a forza de panes y facharar. So it's not such a huge breath that your audience is going to be distracted by you breathing all over the place. Another thing to really watch out for in this beginning phrase is the entrance. The entrance trips up so many people. It's unbelievable. So, if you play piano, awesome. You need to play those first five notes because if you notice, you have one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth note is the same note you're going to sing, only for females it's a different octave. So let's attempt this. One, two, three. Que fiero costume. You see how that works? All right, so as you're doing that, notice how I took a nice deep breath while the piano was doing that entrance. You have one. Make sure that you get a really good breath at the beginning and it'll make that phrase much, much easier. Let's look at measures eight and nine. This is another phrase that isn't the easiest to get through. And it really all depends on how familiar you are with the words and the music separately. So looking at these words, E pur nella dore il dio traditore un vago sembiante mi fedo latrar. Making that and just picking up the tempo a little bit by little, that'll really help you out as you're practicing in your princess voice. E pur nella dore il dio traditore un vago sembiante mi fedo latrar. You also need to go through that phrase on a neutral syllable just so that you get very familiar with the music and you know if you can make it or not. My personal preference is to do it on a buzz first, very slow, and then to go back on like a doo 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 doo, -doo, -doo just to get all this out of the way while I'm trying to work. <sighs> very close. I probably could have used a little bit more air. So then you combine those words and the music together. Um, let's pretend that we already went on a neutral syllable. Yay! Okay. So now let's add the words and the music. And there you go. So 
it's very important that you separate those two elements. Remember the words in a princess voice as you're speaking so that you know where it needs to be. And then um, your buzz and a neutral syllable. And then you should be able to make that phrase. Let's look at measure 15. It's slightly different in the melody than what you've had and what you're going to have. So it tends to trip some people up. And the tendency is you have right there. People tend to sing flat because they're not used to having that leap there. They want to sing but they need to go up a little higher. And so then they end up saying so it sounds like and that that's not what's written. So you gotta see what's written. So let's look at that. You have there you go. The final thing we're going to look at today is measure 31. It's the last impression you get to make for the judge or your audience. If you notice in this edition, I'm using the medium high edition, uh, there is a fermata over the 16th note of the second to last beat. But if you listen to a lot of recordings, you'll notice that most people have a fermata on the note right before that fermata as well. So then instead of having I did not take a good enough breath there. Okay. Instead of singing that, most people put a fermata on the cha, the facha. So it sounds more like this. And then they're also adding a little breath after facha and then going into stimar. So if you're having problems with that phrasing, that might be an option for you to hold out on our fermata there and then have an even bigger fermata on stimar and go out with a big bang. You really always want to make sure that that last note or any notes that need to be held and big really have a lot of support and you're not running out of air. Remember, if you have to breathe, breathe. 